Hey guys, Decap13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. In the last episode, we had a very, uh, rough encounter with Spica, uh, and I'd rather not talk about it, so let's get right into this one. Um, let's see, what do I want to start with? Chemist Wheel... You know what? I want to start with Off Limits. You all arrive at Fumi's laboratory. Fumi! We're here! She's not here. Where'd she go? Seriously? Why would she call us out here and then not bother to show up? Chill out, kids. People are late all the time. Yeah, Joe would know that from many, many, many personal experiences. Oh, yeah, that's so convincing coming from you, Joe. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. I didn't think you'd be here so fast. Man, you have no idea how busy I've been. Because Miyako was angry? Oh, well, the chief was in a pretty bad mood. But that's not why I was busy. You know Spica? They just transported it to the lab in Tokyo. Mm. I had my hands full adjusting all the equipment to store that thing. And it really looks as though that lab was built to house the Triangulum. If that was built for the Triangulum, what's in the facility underneath the Sky Tower? You said it was similar to the one underneath the Tokyo branch, right? Do you think it's for storing even more Triangulum? I don't think so. The lab in the Tokyo branch could do that easily. Hmm, there must be another purpose for it. Anyways, I did a little digging about the facility under the Sky Tower. According to the data I found, it looks like that lab is largely powered by magic, not electricity. So you mean the dragon stream? I'd say it's most likely an application of magic, similar to the emerald tablet. It creates a spiritual link via an artificial conduit and projects a low-level dimensional phenomena onto a high-level one. The spiritual link can then cross-connect the electronic and material properties and form a sort of dual link. I think we're trying to use that to affect the spectral world in some way. Got it. Huh. I'm impressed. You really are quick, aren't you? My head's spinning. Can I lie down? <laughs> you know, I dumbed down the explanation as much as I could. D d doesn't help them. <sighs> Enough chatter. Let's just go check this thing out. My thoughts exactly. After all, I didn't get this passcode for nothing. All we'll right. head to the Sky Tower later. Is there anything else I should know about? While we were fighting Spica, his body was sort of doing weird stuff. Yep. Do you know anything about that, Fumi? What it might mean? What kind of weird stuff? It was like he was fading in and out. You explain the strange occurrence. Hmm. I'm hesitant to comment until I've seen it myself. Since it involves the human body, you might be better off asking Otome about it. I suppose. Yeah. I'll keep an eye out for it, though. Send me a text when you guys are heading to the Sky Tower. Everyone leaves the room, leaving Fumi focused on her computer screen. Alright. Um... Oh, well, we'll do that one last. <clears throat> you can always wait on that one. Let's see... Ooh, we need to get Fumi up to two. Where are you, Fumi? Because I know we have your event now. Here we are. Succession. Fumi is walking around in her room. She mumbles something in a small voice. So it arbitrarily combines two disparate personality types chosen to match two sets of different, albeit similar, memory patterns. That would have to have an effect on the cerebral cortex. Oh, some kind of memory engram. I suppose I'll just have to perform a little surgery and directly observe the electrical shock patterns. Who are you doing surgery on, Fumi? A little surgery? Just a little. <laughs> Wisdom can only be achieved by slicing open the dark clouds of the unknown with a scalpel. Fact. Alright. Oh, I didn't notice you there. How are you? I was just theorizing on how our memories in this world inherit our memories from the Polaris world. Oh, okay. Ooh, tell me. All I can tell you now is that I know nothing. Uh. But I can build a hypothesis. We can say that we're watching an illusion born of a cognitive construction brought upon us when we face a situation inherently unknown. 
Or simply, our mind is recalling memories that don't exist because something stimulated the border between our conscious and subconscious. Hmm. Unfortunately, a world based on subjectivity is completely unreliable. What's so nasty about this little situation is that observing this phenomena is also subjective. In order for us to reach a real objective conclusion, we'd need an enormous amount of knowledge and a way to make comparisons. Well, stands to reason. Exactly. We're gonna need a lot more data. Right now, I couldn't support or refute any hypothesis. What's really intriguing is that you are the trigger that makes us recall our other memories. Please don't tell me you're doing surgery on me. If those memories are real, that would imply that the Akashic Record exists, and moreover, that I'm aware it exists. Now, if you assume the record exists, You guys are hearing the mic move around a lot. The the, the the pitfalls of having long hair. I need a fucking haircut desperately. That would imply that there's some connection between you and it. Hmm. What, what would that connection be, though? The information from the other world that was held in the Akashic Records is somehow coming to us through you as a catalyst. Makes sense. I'm glad you're so clever. It saves me a lot of trouble. That said, may I see your brain? No. Th that is a resounding no, Fumi. You see, examining the key, i.e. you, is the most efficient way to solve the mysteries of our new phenomenon. <laughs> Why don't you examine Daichi? Why would I waste my time on Daichi? He's not the key to this phenomenon. I hate extra work. <laughs> Why would I waste my time on Daichi? Wait. I see. Since we're the recipients of this memory revival... Oh, what, ha what have I accidentally done to Daichi? That might be a solid starting place. <laughs> if we work backwards and find out what's paradoxical between his brain and yours. Oh, it's worth a shot. I'll go find Daichi right now. Laters. Laters. <laughs> Fumi walks away quickly. I'm sorry, Daichi. I think I may have just sent a mad woman with a scalpel after you. Oh, well, not my problem anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, well we got Fumi rank two. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, now, now we're just going right into the event. All right, the captive. You approach the sky tower with the others. Everyone here? Let's head in. Um, Fumi's not here yet, though. I sent her a text, so she should be here any minute. Oh, there she is. Sorry about the wait. Hmm, looks like everyone's here. You know, it's probably going to be suspicious to have this many people just waltzing in. Hmm. Well, what else are we going to do? We all want to see what's in there. Mm-hmm. Me too. I'm all curious. Stealth mission into a secret facility. This is every boy's dream. The name's Aki. Use it, Aki. <laughs> I always wanted to say that. God damn it, Joe. You're not James Bond. <laughs> This is Gyps we're talking about. They probably have some really powerful demons waiting around. <laughs> you know, now that I'm thinking about it, Joe would be the worst James Bond ever. <laughs> just, just like try to imagine Joe as a super spy. <laughs> that's a fucking disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> if that's the case, I want in on this fight. Anyways, if it's gonna be dangerous, we should all stick together. And I guess that sums up why every single one of us is going to tag along. Alright. Let's stay focused. I agree. Let's stay focused and stay stealthy. Yeah, it'd be a problem if Gyps caught us in there. Oh, and one more thing. So, your body was getting all uh, weird when you were fighting Spica, right? I talked to Otome about it, and she said she wanted to run some more tests on you. All right. Once we finish our investigation here, make sure you go and see her. Okay, let's get started. Follow me. You follow Fumi. Let's see what exactly Miyako's hiding here. I would have here. never imagined there was a facility like this under the Sky Tower. Or a facility like Gyps under the Diet Building. The Sky Tower cast that barrier over Tokyo and the surrounding area. I can't believe Gyps would use a tourist attraction to house these kind of things. Hey, look! That's like the device that was holding Denebola. Let's check it out. 
Here we go. Huh? There's something inside. Oh dear. That's not good. That's not something. That's Psyduke? What's going on here? Is he... Is he dead? No! Hey, Psyduke! Look up, buddy! Ugh. Come on, Psyduke. Come on! Can you hear me? Just wake up and start talking in riddles and stuff. Come on, say hello, Shining One. Anything! Please! <laughs> Damn it! Try shouting at him some more. Good call! Hey, Psyduke! Wake up! Psyduke! Rise and shine, buddy! Come on! You in there? Answer me! Oh, my voice. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, it was a good try, Daichi. Daichi, pipe down. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be stealthing. I don't think he's dead. He just seems to be unconscious. Hmm. Psyduke's current status is being displayed on this monitor. According to this, he's in a near sleep state. Then again, I can't be certain. He isn't human after all. Near sleep? How's that work? And hey, Miyako said she didn't know anything about Psyduke. She said she'd never met him. Obviously, she was lying to us. As That's usual. That's ridiculous! This is a Chips facility. Of course Miyako knew about this. Psyduke is our friend. And we don't leave friends like this. It's not okay. You've got that right. We're not gonna leave him here. So, you found your way down here. Ah, damn. <laughs> oh, you bitch. Uh, what... what is this? I... I can't move! What? M miss Miyako! I believe I asked you to follow my orders. Well, we didn't quite feel like doing that. <laughs> Quit using cheap tricks and fight me fair and square! This is fair. The ability to control the Dragon Stream is well within my powers. You have all seen far too much for me to let you run free now. What are you plotting? I'm sorry, but I must detain you until the right time has come. Agonizing pain sears white your vision and your consciousness fades. Well, fuck. So, Miyako's a villain. <laughs> That's not really all that surprising, though, is it? You're woken by a dull, pulsating pain. You find yourself imprisoned and bound up in handcuffs. I can break out of these cuffs! The handcuffs prove more resilient than you thought. There's no way brute strength could shatter them. <laughs> well, it's worth a shot. Demons come forth! You discover your phone has been confiscated and you are unable to summon demons. Well, shit. Uh, somebody help me, please? <laughs> you yell until your voice is hoarse, but no one replies to your cries. Nothing can be done. You awake? Huh? Otome? Bing! Correct. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Hey, what, what, what's up, Melody? So, you and Fumi really threw caution to the wind. The others were taken captive as well. So Makoto and I have been breaking them all out. Oh, thanks. Now hold still while I take your cuffs off. Otome takes a key from her coat pocket and removes the handcuffs. <laughs> there. Man, we are such good allies. Let's get you to the infirmary. The others are waiting for you there. We've made it this far. So stay quiet, and we'll make sure to avoid the Gyps agents. You escape the room with Otome. Hmm, looks like Otome got you guys out too. Yep. 
You find everybody gathered in the examination room. Well, that was troublesome. I can't believe they threw us in prison. Seriously? Yeah, she didn't even try to hear us out. That bitch is gonna pay. Yes, Kata. Why would Miyako work so hard to lock us up, though? If she didn't like us disobeying orders, she could have just kicked us out of chips. Nah, she, she needs us for something. I'll hold you in prison till the time is right. And remember what she said? Something about, until the time has come? Exactly. Right. I have no idea what's going on in that head of hers. And then there's that facility under the Sky Tower. Why was Psyduke locked up in there? He was being kept unconscious in a Gyps facility. So they definitely have a plan that involves him. But why weren't any of us told? Not only was Chief Miyako keeping him locked up, but she lied to us this entire time. And if that's the case, she must have been the one to capture him directly. What would she need him for? Saiduk is locked up. We need to save him soon. We can't do it right now. But how? Yeah, I'm fresh out of ideas. We don't even know how to wake him up. So I'll have to look into that too. Hey, I was just thinking. Yeah? If they got Saiduk on lockdown, maybe they've got Yamato somewhere. Yamato? You think he's in trouble too? It's possible. After all this, I can't trust anything Chief Miyako's told us. Yeah. We can't be sure she was telling the truth when she said Gyps couldn't find him. But the only one who knows that truth is Chief Miyako. Huh? Who is it? It's me. I'm coming in. Oh, it's Makoto. Guys, Makoto's here. Daichi, do you not see the problem with what you just did? I mean, yeah, it, it's cool since it's Makoto, but... Keep your fucking voice down. Don't don't shout out who's who is it when someone knocks on the door when you're supposed to be in a jail cell, you fucking idiot. Is everyone here? I came to return these. Hey, phones. Our phones! Indeed. I pulled them from the gypsum pound. Alright. Thank you, Makoto. I'm glad to help. So, what's the next move? We don't quite know, do we? I don't think we can stay in gyps any longer. Yep. Uh... <laughs> That's no problem for us. Let's just ditch gyps and do our own thing. I don't like following their stupid orders anyhow. Besides, they're the ones who started this fight. I'm more than willing to fight right back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we aren't actually going to try and fight them, are we? Actually. Well, no, but... I guess, what choice do we have? When they find out we escaped, they'll hunt us down. Besides, we can't let them keep Psyduke locked away. Yeah. We want to save Psyduke, but to save him, we can't stay with Gyps anymore. Looks like we're going rogue. <laughs> of course. If they hit us, we'll smash them right back. Yeah, well... I guess diplomacy is out by this point, huh? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be willing to talk to us, Joe. Well, if you're all leaving, I'm coming too. Otome. Otome, you're sure? I'm sure. Fumi told me what happened to you when Spica appeared. Oh, uh, yeah. You'll need me to figure out what's happening to your body. Oh, right. How are you feeling? Like a billion yen. Thank goodness. You'll tell us if anything changes, though, right? Of course. It may be all right now, but it may just be in remission as well. Which is exactly why you need me there with you. Thanks. Don't mention it. It is my job to make sure you stay healthy after all. Besides, since we're going to be defecting from Gyps, it would be really easy to blame the breakout on me. Oh, what am I? What about you, Mako? What do you mean? What do you want to do? Are you going to stay with Gyps or come with us? I will remain here. I see. Hmm. We need someone on the inside to find out the Chief's true intentions. That's true. If she is trying to save mankind, I want to know how imprisoning you all and Psyduke fits into her plan. And if she's steering Gyps in the wrong direction, it's my duty to correct her. I'm sure they'll suspect I'm a double agent at first. But without any solid proof, I'll be back in the Chief's good graces in no time. Don't worry about me. You have to do what you believe is right. Alright. 
Be careful, Makta. I will. <laughs> I'll do my best not to worry you. Trust your instincts. Trust in yourselves. All of you. We will. Yeah. You too, Makoto. Watch your back. Fumi, what about you? I didn't think I had much of a choice here. The chief caught me and threw me into prison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fumi's kind of the same boat that we are. <laughs> I'm sure Chief Miyako considers me an enemy at this point, so I'll just tag along with these guys. Simple solution, right? I'll just keep doing what I want to do. Simple as that. Especially since Jip's goals are not really in line with my own right now. Plus, I'm sure you all need me around. Of course we do. Well, you're, you're best girl much after science all. Lifeline in this operation, Fumi. And she's best girl. Exactly. So I'll be the only one staying behind. We'll meet again. I will always be your ally. And your friend. I shall fight alongside you again soon. Now get a move on before they realize you all escaped. Until we meet again. Mako. Fumi, what's wrong? Be careful. You too. For now, get as far away from Gyps as possible. Take the special train in Shinbashi. Don't use the terminals. Now, get out of here before anyone notices that you're gone. You all flee the area, Fumi and Otome in tow, leaving only Makoto behind to watch you go. <sighs> Alright, hey, we got a battle! And Mr. Ronaldo's there. Uh, let's see, do we actually have Fumi and Ota? Ooh, we do have Fumi and Otome. Who mm, out Daichi. And you know what? I think I want to bring Hinako. So, let me see. If I can. Can she use... Good. Multi-strike plus stone. Where's Grimoire? Is amp. Can she not use Grimoire? I just said to Irie. Whatever. And Tailwind. <laughs> I mean, that's really all she needs. She doesn't need any other command skills. Uh, let's set Medi Rahan on Fumi. We'll give her. Elect Dance. And Bufudine. Give her Mana Surge. Victory Cry. And I'll give her Elec Amp. On top of Hustle. Alright, so there's that. I really need to get some other demons out of the compendium. Oh, we, we, we can just keep rocking what we have. Alright, new ally. Looks like Jips isn't after us yet. How oh, I don't know we're gone yeah, yet. Yeah, but they must know we've escaped by now. Or, yeah. I'd assume so. They're probably securing the terminals. Mm. Who knows when Jips agents are gonna show up, so let's hurry. brings back memories all the way back to day two of our survival in the last world down we go everyone follow me So, uh, who's gonna drive this train? Oh, right. There's no Gyps agent to drive it. Well, I'm sure I can do it. 
We're gonna be okay, right, Fumi? Full speed ahead. Of course. I'll push <laughs> this train way beyond its original capabilities. Okay, maybe not that. Fumi, I don't want to die. <laughs> I, I seconded Jungo. I don't want to die either. Don't worry. It's theoretically safe. Theoretically safe. It's not actually safe. It's only theoretically safe. I don't like being theoretically safe. <laughs> yeah, I want to be actually safe. Can we be actually safe for once? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got faith in you, Fumi. It's not like any of the rest of us know how to operate this thing, right? Well, that's true as well. Damn it. Yeah, uh, you got me there. All right, go do your thing, Fumi. <laughs> Only Nagoya and Osaka are safe from the void. One is significantly closer, so Nagoya it is. All right. Off to Nagoya we go. I'm walking next time. <laughs> oh dear. What the? Chips agents? Oh, Ouch. they're waiting for us. Looks like they managed to intercept us. You are all surrounded. The terminals and stations are completely secured. <laughs> you think we're going to surrender to some pieces of paper? Ah, crap, crap, crap. Back in the train. Back in the train. Uh, no can do, Deitch. That won't do you any good. We just shut off the power. You aren't going anywhere. Oh, man. I guess it was only a matter of time before they found us. Probably would have been the same thing if we'd gone to Osaka instead. Oh, well. Agent Kano! Dr. Yanagiya! Why have you turned traitor? Because Miyako's evil. Well, Gyps wasn't going to let me research the things that really mattered. You know, <laughs> stuff like the Triangulum, what the Chief is really thinking, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I decided it would be better if I joined up with these guys. But... I'm sorry. I didn't want to betray you all like this. But we must follow our consciences. We need to help them. I understand. But we have our orders. Agents, prepare for battle. Alright, Gyps agents. Let's do this. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'll crush anyone who gets in my way. Alright. Ooh, shield all EX. Yes. I suppose we could go for Battle Aura. Kinetic Vision is... Alright. Yeah, Fumi can go after that one. Eo. Hinako, you'll go for Battle Aura because you have Flight and Evil Wave. Alright, here we go. Let's bring Python back so I can attack this guy. You don't have to worry about that spike effect anymore, so, huh. We can just feel free to nuke everything. Fall, pieces of paper! Chip's agent's phone has been destroyed. My phone! I'll have to retreat. Let's get ourselves some kinetic vision. 
I didn't actually read the ability for kinetic vision, so I don't remember what it does. I think it increases your hit rate, but eh, not important. <laughs> nice try. <sighs> kinetic vision. Upon dodging an enemy's attack, all allies receive will receive a 1.5 bon times bonus to all stats. That's if you dodge an attack. So put put like dodge on your uh, characters. No, my phone. I'll just hold the squad back without it. All right, for me, you're, I mean, yo, you're up. Loa Iku, Loa Nakusa, huh? Oh great, Grimoire Plus. And we have Grimoire Plus. Alright, there goes that guy. Hey, don't hit EO. Alright, that takes care of that. Damn it! They're stronger than we anticipated. We must make a tactical retreat. I'm gonna do this because I re can you fly? No, you cannot. I really want to get shield all the X. Really, Hinako is the best person to go after this. <laughs> there we go. Falling back. Can't summon demons without my phone. Alright, there's only a few left now. Like I said, these guys were nothing. Like they even mattered. Oh no, don't hit Lucifer Frost's weakness, you jackass. Oh, exactly enough. Thank you, EO. <laughs> uh, I can't continue the fight. We must reanalyze their threat. Demons, evacuate the citizens. H hey, you guys. R Ronaldo. I heard the sound of combat and I came running. What's going on? As for you, why are you pointing your summoning apps at them? If you stand in our way, we will destroy you, civilian or not. R Ronaldo, we would very much appreciate your help. Seems like we won't be talking our way out of this one. Alright, I'll help you out. Thanks, Ronaldo. Thank me when we survive. Everyone, get ready! Let's do this, Ronaldo. Now, let's show them the true power of justice. Oh, you and your Baphomet. I have no quarrel with you guys, but I can't let you harm them. Please, stand down. What are we missing here? Battle Aura? That's not a problem. He kills them. Yeah, he didn't kill, but... Oh, right, he has double up. <laughs> yeah, still no kill, but... Eh, it's fine. Thanks for softening them up for us, Ronaldo. Well, at we got Battle Aura. Oh, good. And, and that's the one Hinako. You know, I'm glad I set that on Hinako. <laughs> My phone! Damn you! All right, one left. She's just going after me. Yep. And this is as good as done now. 
Oh, don't do- do not do that. Please do not do that. <laughs> oh, we, we don't need- I, I don't need to get assassinated here. Uh, yeah, keep going in magic. They're strong. No wonder they were able to break out of the Tokyo branch, falling back. I think that's the last of the chips agents. Ooh, hey, another level up. And another point of magic. Yo, Ronnie, you totally saved our bacon. Yeah, man. Wait a sec. Why are you here all alone? I thought you had all sorts of cop stuff to do. Well, I turned in my badge. I realized that if I wanted to save everyone, I couldn't be tied down by my duties as a police officer. Oh. <laughs> oh! Does that mean Ronnie's on board? Hey guys, Ronnie's back! A little late to the party, but I'm here to stay. Yeah, at least you're back, man. But more importantly, I thought you guys were cooperating with Chips. What happened here? Well, a bunch of shit happened. Well, actually... You explain to Ronaldo what happened so far. I see. Gyps has Saiduk captive, and tried to imprison you as well. Saiduk may not be human, but he's definitely not humanity's enemy. There's no reason to hold him prisoner, and capturing you all as well, that's not due process. Yeah. I agree. However, Gyps is powerful. They won't let up in their pursuit. That has occurred to us. Know any place where fugitives can get a good night's sleep? Hmm. We can't escape them, so maybe our best bet is to fight back. What if we took over one of the Gyps' branches? Hmm. You want to do something like that again? Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm as sane as ever. I'm serious. This could be our solution. It's honestly not a bad idea. The Nagoya Gyps' branch isn't as fully staffed as Tokyo and Osaka. It's our best chance of gaining a measure of safety. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. What the heck do you mean? Think about it. We'd have a safe haven if we could take control of the Gyps branch. There's nowhere more secure. I guess you have a point. Plus, there'd be plenty of food and supplies. Yep. Best of all, I could access the Gyps mainframe. With a little tampering, I'm sure I'd be able to hack into their communications and reactivate our phones. That's perfect. Oh, that means we'd be able to keep all the advantages we had when we were cooperating with Chips. That would be a big help. At a Chips branch, I'd also have access to medical facilities where I could do a real examination on his body. Well, that settles it then. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we adjourn to the Nagoya branch? I believe we shall, Joe. Let's go. Yeah. There's no time for hesitation, guys. Come on, everyone. Let's go. We leave the scene with Ronaldo in tow. Alright. We have our next goal. We're going to take over the Nagoya branch. Make it our headquarters. But we're going to do that in the next episode, seeing as we're already running on like 40 minutes. So... I'll see you guys then. Bye!